Well, hello everyone. I'm Jack. Welcome to another episode of Tr Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for tuning in today. It's a nice Friday here in the South. Going to be hot, hot, hot for the next three days. Not necessarily looking forward to that, but three days of super heat, then we're going to get a little bit of rain, and then we're going to have some pleasant temperatures next week. So I can make it through. Hope everybody's excited about the weekend. Got some plans for the weekend. Myself, I'm going down to Pensacola tomorrow. Uh, I'm not as excited as I am sometimes about that because when it's this hot, I really don't like to be in the car. In Pensacola, I was looking at the news last night, really, really hot. So that just means I'll have to be extra hydrated in the morning before I leave. We're going to finish the week with a talk on raw food diet weight gain. Why? Um, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down there now and hit that subscribe button, please. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications. And if you are watching me and you're subscribed, go check on that anyway. Man, subs are going down again. I can tell by the numbers. YouTube's just got that glitch and it's not going away. So I can tell. Please, 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 sub. Um, the raw food diet weight gain. I'll tell you, I was looking at, I did watch some videos on this one. I've told you guys a lot of times when I'm getting ready for a video or I just kind of want to see other thoughts. I'm not necessarily using what other people are saying. I just kind of want to see what the take is, what's out there. And I'm going to be real with you. Size doesn't always matter. <laughs> you can't just look at these YouTube channels that got a gazillion followers or a YouTube individual video with mega views and just be like, okay, this is an authority because I'm going to tell you something. I watched some videos on this particular subject and there's some rather large accounts out there that, uh, quite frankly, they just spinning some bullshit. Pardon my language here, but don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining outside. Just a lot of the logic and a lot of the stuff they're coming up with just doesn't make sense. And they like to kind of, uh, you know, that's why they like to use the big words and they get all convoluted with it because they can kind of confuse people in there. But when I go into the heart of the matter, I'm like, no, no, I know why. I can see why. You're just, you're fooling, pe you're either fooling people or you're fooling yourself or you're fooling both because it's not, there's no alchemy out there. I want to tell you something to put it in perspective. If you don't believe what I'm telling you about this lifestyle and what I'm saying on, you know, weight gain, weight loss, whatever, a picture is worth a thousand words, so a video is worth how many pictures? I don't know how the math goes on that one, but I've been doing videos for five years. Um, one thing I can say is go back to all my videos. Go back to day one. You don't have to watch every video. Go back to day one. Go, say, fast forward to year two, fast forward to year three. Just watch a bunch of videos, and you're not going to see a lot of variation in my weight, in my size, in the way I look. And that's why I've always been baffled by all this kind of, oh, it's all the, this mystery surrounding not being able to lose weight or people gaining weight on that lifestyle. Now, to put it in perspective for people that might be new, um, I, I'm not one of those naturally lean people. My history is this. I was a fat kid. In fact, I should have dug out some pictures today just to show you. Um, I'll do that another time. Um, fat kid, roly-poly little guy, you know, um, was big even as a kid up until about the age of, I don't know, 12 or 13. Um, and then after that, I still, all through my life, I had to work. It was tough, you know, to lose weight. And I would gain and I would lose like most people and do some yo-yo and back and forth. But once I came to this lifestyle, everything stabilized. For the last six years, and I'm 54 years old, for the last six years has been the first time in my life I don't have to think anything at all about weight, about how much I'm eating. And my weight has never been as stable as it's been over the last six years. Um, there's just some absolutely silly stuff out there. You got to look for what's really in there. You got to look for what's real. I don't understand if you're eating low fat, raw vegan, low fat, around 10%. I just don't see how you can do it. I just don't see how you can gain the weight. 
eating fruit, eating vegetables, eating fresh whole foods um, on the raw. Um, now, there's a couple of exceptions in there, of course, is the nuts or, or fat, a lot of fat, a lot of nuts. Um, I, you know, I love uh, coconut, but even like coconut and avocado, I'm not going to eat that in unlimited amounts because I know if I eat that in unlimited or very large amounts regularly that I'm going to gain weight. That's just a reality of life. It's the fat, the fat, the fat, the nuts. And I think a lot of it, let's go a step further, is I just think a lot of people don't really understand uh, the calories and the, and how much is actually in there and what the numbers are. I think they see, I, you know, okay, nuts are healthy, nuts are good, but they can get away from you so fast, so fast. Now, if we take the fat part out of it, I usually think there's a lot of that in there, that most people that are gaining weight on this lifestyle, it, it's pro they probably are eating too much fat. Um, and the only exception I could see eating all fruit, if you were eating all fruit, high fruitarian, would be if, for instance, you're eating a ton of dates. You know, if you're just like eating normal amounts during the day, you know, if you're eating the regular what you would eat during the day meals and you're scarfing down a lot of dates. Now, those dates will add up in calories. I could see, you know, potentially putting on some weight like that. Um, you guys may or may not remember a little over a year ago when I was down in Costa Rica. The only time I was put, I was getting a little soft in the middle and couldn't figure it out was when I was drinking too much sugar cane juice and then I just found out how many calories in there. But there was always a logical reason. It was not some of this, oh, it's hormones or this or metabolic damage or all these kind of good sounding words. And some of those things exist. I know especially for ladies, y'all have hormone issues that can, um, you know, that can uh, not help, that can hinder weight loss in a way. But once again, all these things that people like to go to, well, I have a medical reason or I have this or I have that. There's not that many exceptions in the world. Okay, you might argue me to death, and you might actually be an exception. I'm not saying anybody, one in particular person out there is not, is fooling themselves, but if I look at all the numbers of everybody saying that, and I do get a lot of correspondence on this, why am I gaining weight? Why are you gaining? I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm not, I don't know, this diet doesn't work. Yes, all those people can't be right. That's statistically I won't say it's statistically impossible because I guess it's statistically possible that all the people that are the exceptions that are right, that you know, they say this, but no, there's not that many people. There's always something in there. And if you would look in, if you would look, there recipes, recipes, another reason. I got just a little, you know, just got some notes down here. Recipes, stuff gets hidden in recipes. You don't tend to pay as much attention or you overdo or you throw that extra handful of nuts in that nut dressing or this and that. Recipes, be sure you know what's going into your recipes. If you're having a weight issue, if you think you're having a weight issue, be sure you know what amounts are going into there. Um, once again, like I have said probably a thousand times on this channel, but new people come in all the time. Easiest thing you can do, if you're struggling with your weight, write down every single thing that you eat, drink, put into your mouth. Every single thing. And try to be as accurate as, and descriptive as possible. Don't just say, oh, I ate bananas. I, say, I ate, I ate seven uh, medium-sized bananas. I mean, you don't have to get ridiculous with the descriptions or, but just write down everything you're eating and write down the amounts. Then if you're gaining weight or if you can't lose weight, I'm going to say almost 99.99%. If you take that book to somebody knowledgeable that you've been writing down, they'll probably look at it for about two minutes and be like, well, you got this and you got this and you got this and you got this. And they'll probably find that hidden fat or whatever it is that's causing you trouble. Listen, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know why would people would want to argue with me. I would hope you would just embrace that and go, okay, wow, that's cool to know. You know, maybe I, now all I got to do is go in there and troubleshoot and find out what it is in there. But people just get stubborn and they're like kids almost. They want to double down and they want to double down with this convoluted logic of not being able to lose weight or not being able to prevent the weight gain. 
Also, too, I think it's comforting. It's a psychological thing. I think people tend to want to believe these people with the big views and whatever because it's comforting to know it kind of takes the responsibility away from them. I'm telling you, you would be surprised at the names, some of your favorites out there, some of your beloved people. If you go look at them, look at those weight gains. How do you gain 20 pounds? You're a raw food person. How do you gain 20 pounds? And even a level further, you're one of the experts telling people stuff and you're yo-yoing. I mean, come on. And I'm not, listen, I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just saying, where are you getting your knowledge from? I mean, you know, me, I, I'm very visual. I'm very by example. I don't go to somebody that's theoretical, no matter what it is that I'm, you know, trying to learn. I'm doing a lot of social media stuff and I'm studying a lot of stuff like on marketing, Instagram, different things like that. I don't go to people that talk about it. And there's a lot of those out there in every world. There's people out there in they're with all this social media and social media marketing and stuff, they're actually trying to set themselves up as experts on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is, and you go to their account and they're theoretical. They've never built an account. They've, they don't have a following, they're theoretical. I like practical. I follow people, I learn from people, I take examples from people that, are, that I see and I'm like, I want that. You know, I don't talk, I don't listen to the professor that's never done anything that just sits and teaches and talks about it. I want the person that's done it. I want the person that's getting the results that I want. I don't want to commiserate with somebody that just is going to tell me what I want to hear. I align with success. I align with what I see when I see somebody that's doing something that's working. So it's a real, listen, this whole thing, it's like it just go to the simplest version of it. Eat whole plant-based foods. You know, keep your fat low. Eat enough for your body and then stop. But once again, once again, and I'm gonna, stop, I'm gonna finish with this one. The, here's the kicker. The cleaner you eat, the more foods you can eat. That's why I like to eat clean. I'm a big old ape. I'm like one of the great apes. I like to just consume volumes of food. And I can do that because I'm not eating a lot of high calorie, high fat, high, high calorie dense food. So anyhow, you can listen to practical stuff or you can listen to mythological unicorn stuff. It's all up to you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.